when I posted that you can actually make um, $900 with um, trading this, with this strategy, some persons were like, you know, I, I had a lot of uh, a lot of private chat, people want to be sure and the rest, okay? Um, I just want to let you know, this is my account, okay? This is my account and currently I am trading, okay? And as you can see here, this is already in profit, okay? I am trading and this is already in profit. When I say you can make $30 in a day, um, sorry, $900 in 30 days, I, I was actually not blabbing, all right? And I'm gonna share my screen. Today alone, I've made more than that, okay? But where the cost train may come in is um, if you don't have the money, all right? If you don't have the money um, to be able to do this because um, there are certain amounts that is required for you to have in your account to actually be able to do this, okay? So I'm gonna show you this. I purposely left this, okay? You see that it's actually reducing and the rest, but I'm, I'm not afraid because I know that it will definitely hit my target. So I'm gonna um, actually, um, I'm gonna pause this trade, okay? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna close it. If I want to close it, I still make $15 out of this, which is still something. Um, if you are in the part of the world where I'm coming from, okay, $15, $16 is something. Making this kind of money in a day is something, all right? So I'm gonna just um, do what I need to do with this, okay? Share my second screen. Now, what I used to achieve this is a bot, all right? You don't need to become a professional trader. You don't need to know how to do technical analysis to be able to use um, or trade features with the, the strategy that I'm gonna share with you, okay? Because I am using a bot. I'm just gonna show you how to leverage on the use of that bot, okay? And be able to do this. It is not automated. Please, I need, I need to make this clear here. It is not automated. Um, this um, strategy is not automated. It means that you need to actually, um, select the coin and the rail, which is exactly what I'm gonna share with you in this video. And if you do this, okay, you don't even need to be here. <laughs> you don't even need to be here 247 to be able to carry out this strategy. Okay, I set up this trade as early as um, six to seven this morning, okay, Nigerian time. And today this trade has um, made me profit like 10 different times. Okay, this is the 10th or the ninth um, time that this um, board is actually trading this, okay? So I use um, a board called Metaficious, all right? Um, so you see that um, this trade close, you can check the date, okay? You can check the date, okay? It closed with this profit, this closed with this profit. And if I scroll down, okay? You see that, you see the different um, profits and the rest that this close, you see 33, 15, and it goes on like that. And join together today alone, okay? Join together today alone. If I come back and um, go to my profit, once I click on profit here, okay, today alone, I've been able to actually generate this. This is what I've generated alone trading with this, okay? So it is very possible. I just had to do this because of um, some of you who are doubting Thomas. It is very possible um, once you follow the strategy that I'm gonna share with you um, in this um, uh, meeting, okay? So to actually show you that this um, is actually true, if I go to my Binance, so here on my Binance app, okay, I'll just go to features. And um, when I scroll down, okay, the trade is ongoing. If I click on position, you see that the trade is ongoing. All I just need to do is to click on this icon to see the history. Okay, what I just shared with you on the board, if I share the history with you here, and then I'll go to, I think, trade history or so. There is an icon here, okay, that looks like a chart. So if I click on that icon, it brings me here. Okay, you just select, this is the token I've been trading since morning. I started this trade, this um, AP, ARPA USDT, that is the trade I've been carrying out since morning. So if I just close this out of the screen, so you see the same um, profit I shared with you on the Binance, um, on the Metaficious um, bot, okay, is the same profit that is here. So I am not actually um, lying to you. I am not blabbing about what I've said, okay? But as I said earlier, the only constraint would be um, for those who don't have um, enough money on their account to be able to do this. But you can actually do it. You may not be able to hit up the target that I've shared with you, but you can do this, okay? Um, to be able to carry out this strategy, let me say this beforehand, to be able to carry out this strategy, you need a minimum of $300 in your Binance exchange, okay? You need a minimum of $300 in your Binance exchange. 
So this is Meta Fisher's board. Okay, so basically what we need now, you need an account with Binance, okay? Uh, and then you need to activate your Binance account and activate your Fisher's trading account. You need an account with Meta Fisher's, all right? You need an account with Meta Fisher's. To be able to use this board, it costs only $150 per year. That is what it costs you to use the Meta Fisher's board, $150 per year. And you can use this. And this board trades only Fisher's on Binance. Okay, so if I go to where it says buying API, you see there are other exchanges that you can use, but presently it is only Binance that is available right now. Okay, other exchanges are coming soon. All right, so if you don't have a Binance account, you may not be able to use this board. And if you're in a country where, um, Binance doesn't allow you to trade um, fishers. For instance, if you are if you are in the um, UK, if you are in um, South Africa or there about, I'm sorry, you will not be able to use this because this board only trades fishers. Okay, the board only trades fishers. So all you just need to do is you need an account with uh, Meta Fishers, you need an account with um, with Binance. Okay, and then you can be able to do this. Your phones are secure. Okay, your phones are secure because any phone you want to trade with, like I said, you need a minimum of $300 to be able to carry this strategy I'm sharing with you. That money needs to be in your Binance exchange, not on the board. The only money you deposit to the board is the money you use to pay gas fee. Now, what the board does is that whenever they make profit for you, they charge you for that, okay? Um, let's say I have made $120 throughout today. What the board does is that they take 20% of that $120 Okay, and then 80% becomes mine. So for them to be able to charge that, since they cannot go to your Binance and do that, for them to be able to charge that, you need to do deposit money into the board. Okay, um, so that is basically all you need. And I'm gonna share all of that with you in this video. Three ways you can use the board is that first you can do auto mode. Okay, you can do auto mode. We have two bots here that you can use. Uh, we have the super bot. Okay, currently this board is not active yet. Um, um, the news I got is that by next week it will be activated. Okay, this board is more riskier than the edge board. Okay, um, but it makes you profit in a faster way than this edge board. These are all automated. Okay, all you just need to do is click on the board, set it up and it can continue to run for you. All right, until maybe when you say, I no longer need this board. Okay, if I click on the edge board, this is what it gives you. You put the number of trade you want, the amount you want, okay? And then you go ahead and click. I don't know why this is showing. Oh, I don't know. I, I need to stop this. Okay, go ahead and stop this because I'm doing manual, so I don't need a bot. All right, so um, you need to do that. And then the bot automatically picks a coin for you. It automatically trades. It automatically takes profit and stop loss and all of that with the bot, okay? The same thing happens with the super board, but right now the super board is not active. Hopefully by next week, it would have been active. So when it is active, the super board will need a minimum of $600 in your account to be able to trade, okay? But with the edge board, you can use $100, whatever amount you have, okay? That is what I'm going to use. For instance, if I click here, let's say I want to carry out one trade. If I want to carry out one number of trade one, and then the first order amount to be 10, it means that it's going to cost me 75 okay as you can see here 75 dollars in total to be able to take this trade okay so when you adjust these things okay let's say you want to carry out um two trade for instance the more you adjust it the more the amount you are risking um, shows up here okay so you can do that and the rest you here you can trade with any amount you have from hundred dollars above uh, okay that is recommended all right that is the first way the second way is to copy traders if I come in here to this um, icon that looks like a calculator down there and click on it, I'm um, sorry, the profile icon, okay? The one at the bottom um, right. Here you can copy a trader. For instance, you can, I can copy this trader, right? And just go ahead and click on start copying a trader somewhere at the top here. Okay, you can copy a trader. That is the second way. And then the third way, which is my favorite way, is to do the semi-manual. The semi-manual means that you are the one selecting the coin that you want to trade, okay? You are the one selecting the coin that you want to trade, but we have a tool here that guide us on what to do, which is what I'm sharing with you. Okay, here you have signals, okay? And on each of these coins, you will always see this icon here. So here it shows the top gainers, top 10 gainers. If I click here to switch it, it takes you to the top 10 losers in the market, okay? So what you want to do is to, on any of this coin, you want to click on this icon and get the signals there, all right? Okay, so here, 
on any of this coin, you want to click this icon, all right, to be able to see the signal. So if I go ahead and click that, all right, so if I click that icon, this is what it comes up with. You have time frame of one minute, five minutes, up to the one hour, okay? So here on the 15 minutes, it is saying strong buy, okay? So it, give, it gives you three options, okay? The buy signal, the sell signal, and then the neutral. Whenever it is on neutral, you don't need to take any trade, but if it says buy or sell, you go ahead and take those trade, okay? But I wouldn't want you to leverage on this because if you do, this um, may be wrong sometimes. So if I go to the one hour, it says strong buy, okay? If I go to the 30 minutes, okay? You probably have a strong buy and it goes on that way. Whenever you have a strong buy like this, if you have entered this market earlier, I will show you how to avoid entering the market late, okay? Then this, this thing that would have worked for you. I do, I saw when this um, yen token was actually going up. This yes, FYI start is for the yen token USDT. I saw when it was going up. As at the time I saw it, it was just 39 or very about. So if I've long this market by now, I would have made a lot of profit. But rule number one, okay, don't trade, most especially when you have just $300 in your account, don't trade, don't take more than one trade. Okay, I have the option to take more than one trade. You don't have to be greedy about this. This is futures trading. So if you are greedy, um, the market will equally be greedy against you. You are going to lose money. So don't trade more than one coin in a day, okay? So to do this manual trading, okay, first, the first thing you need to do is to carry out a setting. So when I come in here, down here, you see this icon here, okay, click on it. It takes you to the list of all of the coins, okay? Here you see all of these lists where you can buy, okay, you can sell, you can trade both sides. Okay, you can do buy and sell at the same time. This is called edging, okay, in the crypto trading space. It's called edging. When you trade, do buy both um, long and short position at the same time, it is edging, all right? So the board allows you to do that, okay? But majorly, we are going to click on the icon up here, okay, the setting icon up here. I'm going to click on this setting icon, and then it takes me to the setting. Okay, so if I click on it, it brings me to this page. Okay, so as I said earlier, the highest leverage you can use is 10x leverage, as you can see here. But I set it on, um, on the, you know, um, I set it on 5x, okay? Now, my cost here is $10, but when you have anything um, between 300 and 500, okay, you can please always make this um, $7, okay? Except when you have a higher amount like 1K, 2K, or thereabout, then you can make it whatever it is. So because I have $10 here, I am borrowing five times that amount of money. So what will it cost me? It will cost me 50 USDT. Okay, that is what it simply means. So put in the amount here and it automatically change here. Then when I change the leverage, okay, if I, for instance, if I change the leverage, the, let's say I make it 10X, okay, it means that I am borrowing 10 times this amount of money and that will be 100 USDT, okay? But always trade safe, make sure you use um, just the five X, okay? So I'll leave it as 5S. Then after that, this is the margin configuration, okay? Um, the set number of circles, okay? This is um, the, how many times the trade will carry out for you. And that is what I was sharing with you. If I go back to the screen again, go back to the home page. If I scroll down here, let me um, come to the trade. Okay, I guess the trade has closed. Okay, uh, the trade actually closed in profit. Let me check if I go to other. Yes, it did. So it made me just um, right now, okay, it made me $34. We're seeing 20, 17 or thereabouts. So just right now, okay, it has made me 24 or 34 or thereabouts. So I don't have any trade here to share with you. So it has covered 10 times and then automatically it stopped, okay? So um, that is for the number of circle. So if I go back again, So now after you put in 100 here, yeah, okay, the next thing is circle configuration, okay? What circle configuration do you want to use? As I said, you have circle one, okay? From circle one to circle 10. If I scroll down, you see 10 here. So always make sure that the FOE is one, always one, 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 one. What this simply means is that since I'm using my cost as $10, Okay, since I'm using my cost as $10, whenever I trace, it will only use $10. If you use two, it means that 10 times two, that is what it's gonna use. So make sure you use one, 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 and at the end of the day, you click on confirm, okay? 
So after that, the next thing we have is the trade start um, callback. So if you put any percentage here, what this simply means is that you are simply telling, let's say I go ahead and put 10 here or one, okay? What you are simply telling the board to do is that whenever you place a trade, it will be waiting. It will be on the waiting list, for instance. And then it will wait for the market to go in your favor by 5%. If you want to long, the market needs to go higher by 5%, or if you want to short, the market needs to go lower by 5%. Okay, that is the only time the trade can take, um, 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 the bot can take a trade for you. But even if you want to enter the market immediately after you've done analysis, I will share that with you in a moment. Just put zero, you enter the market immediately, okay? Then trade reject callback. When the market goes against you, let's say I enter the market right now, okay? And then this is waiting because of the percentage I put here. When it goes against you by this number of ROO, it was the number you put here determines the ROO. It means that the trade will automatically cancel. With that, so here it needs to go in your favor before the trade is triggered. Here it needs to go against you, then the trade is canceled. You no longer enter the market, okay? And then here we have the edge reversal um, direction, okay? If you are in a trade, okay, and the market start going against you, I put two here by ten percent ROE, the trade will the board will automatically open a, a trade in the opposite direction, okay? Now because edge mode is enabled on your Binance account. Those two directions will be trading for you. Why this other one will be in loss, the other one that has opened will be in profit, okay? And then the FOA, you can put whatever you get here. Remember, the first purchase order is uh, $10 or $7, so make sure, but always leave it as zero, okay? And um, the USDT um, BTC callback is the same thing. If you put 100 here, it means that BTC need to go up by one, $100 or 100 USDT or go down by 100 USDT before your trade is triggered. So just leave it at zero, okay? And then on the um, time frame here, you can always leave this at 30%. So if I click on it, I'll just scroll up here and leave it at 30%. I'll share this slide with you for those of you who will be interested, okay? And then I go down here, we'll have trade settings, stop loss, leave it at zero, okay? And the reason I'll explain that in a moment. And then for the trailing stop, leave it as auto. Okay, when you leave it as a two, if you scroll down here, make sure your trading stop here is um, actually zero, and then the margin call will be 50 times. This is where the magic happens. Okay, the margin call will be 50 times. Now, what the margin call does is that it keeps you in the market. If the market goes against you, okay, um, what do you want to do? Do you want to buy more? If the market goes in your favor, do you want to buy more? And so on. Okay, this is what is actually responsible for making um, some of this profit in the market. That is why you need to have enough money, all right? But even when I'm using $7, I needed more than $300 in my account to be able to cover up to the 50th um, margin call, okay? So you see here 50 times, all right? So you need to change here to 50 times. And then the magic configuration, if I click on the margin configuration, this is what it, this simply means, okay? Now, margin call is you trading the market under probability, okay? If you are doing this manually on Binance, it means that you need to always go there to add margin, add margin, add margin. And that adding margin is not um, adding anything to your profit. It only affects your liquidation price. So you're not adding anything to your profit. But what the bot simply does is that if I enter a market and the market start going against me, okay, that is when margin cost comes in. So now I say for the first call, when the market goes against me by 5% ROE, okay? Um, now when you do, like I shared with you, you saw where it says profit and then uh, PNL, okay? You see, so PNL in USDT and then PL, PNL in ROE, okay? So when it goes against you, when I put one here, it means that when it goes against you by 5% ROE, you want the bot to buy more, okay? To buy how many times you want it to buy one time, all right? And when it buys one time, it brings you closer to the um, market price. It brings you closer to the market price. Coming closer to the market price means that when it starts going in your favor, you will always make profit, okay? So since we use 50, you need to put 1%, 1%, 1% from here up to the 30th, okay? The 30th core, all right? I will share all of this with you. So once we put it to the 30th core, the most important thing is to understand how the margin call works, okay? Once you put it to the 30th call, from the 31, okay, 30, um, 31, you put 1.5, and then you follow all of the settings that I'm gonna share with you um, in a moment. So that is what you do with the margin 
configuration, okay? Make sure if it is not 50, um, then you will not be able to stay in the market longer. Now, the fact that this makes profit doesn't mean that you cannot lose. That is why you need to follow instruction because if you don't get it up to 50 times and you don't have enough money to cover the margin, what this simply means is that whenever the market is going against you in 5% ROE, 10% ROE, the board is just simply buying more. And this buying more is with the amount of money you have on your board, on your account. So if you don't have money to cover all of this margin, then you'll be taken out of the market immediately. Okay, so once again, margin call is trading the market under probability. Please understand this. You know, it will sweet us when I say you can make um, up to $30. This is an average. If I can make more than $30 in a day, it means that you two can do it. But $30, I just need to leave it there as a cap so that in the morning before you go to work, you can see a trade, take the trade. Once you make $30 in a day, just quit the market. That is what it simply means. And if you calculate $30 every day by, by 30 days, that is $900 with a minimum of $300 in your account, okay? So margin call is the one that does all of those, uh, all of those tricks, okay? So after the configuration, then the same direction, same direction is when the market is going in your favor, okay, you want the board to equally buy, all right? So if it buys for you, it, it, it adds to, your, to the amount of money you have already. Let's say I'm risking $10, all right, to as my, or $7 as my first purchase price, Okay, and I'm using 5X. That 5X will open a position of $35 for me. It means if the market goes in my favor by 10%, I am making 10% of $35. If it goes in my favor by 5%, I am making 5% of $35. If it go in, goes in my favor by you know, 100%, I am making 100% of my $35. Okay, so when it goes in your favor, you want it to buy more. So when you buy another $7, you now have $15. $15 will mean $70 you are in the market. So when it continues to go in your favor, instead of making initial profit of, let's say um, $7 or $35, you're not making of you know, $70 or thereabout, okay? So there is a configuration here. So you need to click on the configuration. And when you click on the configuration, just put in 1.5, 1.5 and 2%. So if the market goes against, goes in your favor by 7.5%, it, it buys more for you. 7.5%, again, it buys more for you. 10% ROE buys more for you. Mine will not cover this because my profit is, my take profit level is at 10%, okay? So it will not cover this, it can only cover these two, all right? So how many times do you want you to buy one, one, and then one, okay? Because my take profit is at this level, so you may not be able to cover up to the third level, all right? Um, sorry, that has um, gone out, okay? So that is um, for the same direction, call back configuration. And if we come back to the boards, Okay, if I come back to the bot, go back to the setting again. So the next setting I have after the configuration, okay, the next setting I have after the configuration is the same direction which I just showed you. The next one is the whole, um, uh, whole position take profit. I put mine as 10%, you can put it at 1%, 1.5%. 1 so when I put it 2% here, the ROE means that the market needs to increase by 10% ROE and immediately it takes profit from it, okay? If I and I'm put instead of two and I say 1.5, okay? It means that the market needs to increase by 7.5% for it to take profit from me. So if you do this, if you do this, okay, the configuration we did here for the same direction will not be triggered because the same direction says 7.5. But instead of that, the take profit will be the one that will prioritize against the, this same direction. Okay, that is why I always leave mine as 10%, all right? When it increased by 10% ROE, and throughout today, it has been fantastic. It has worked out well for me. So I'll just show you that in a moment. I just need to share these settings with you, okay? And then the whole um, profit callback, 0%, this one's zero, okay? Just follow the instruction. And then for liquidation, okay, you have 10, and then you have 3%, then, and, then, and then five. This is basically all of the settings you need to follow, all right? Once again, you need a minimum of $300. And then your cost should be always be seven dollars to be able to follow up this strategy. All right. So once you do all of these settings, just go ahead and click on confirm. All right. That is all you need for this to, to carry out any trade on this board. Okay. Then when you do that, now is the time for the selection of the coin. How do you get the coin to trade? All right. So we are going to use YFI as a case study. Okay. The YFI, um, um, uh, this one, 
as a case study. Now, when I click on the signal icon here, which is this one, you see that it's giving us strong buy. So if I click on it, it's giving us buy on the 15 minutes and then buy on the 30 minutes, on the one hour buy, on the one minute buy. No, okay, this is neutral, five minutes is equally a buy, all right? But I just I don't want to follow this signal blindly. If you do that, <laughs> if you do that, you'll be out of the market, all right? I've tried it, I've lost money, okay, just following blindly. So um, this new um, trading settings have been what has been rescuing me in the market. So what you want to do is I want to go back to Binance. When I click on the coin itself, okay, it opens up the chart, but the chart on the board um, doesn't allow you to, you know, assess or do all of this technical analysis, except you understand very well. But what I want to do is to share with you how to do this with, um, with um, Binance, okay? So if I open up my Binance app, so once I open up my Binance app, the first thing you need to do is to go back to your official's account, okay? So you see that the trade has equally closed here on my Binance account. So make sure you come in here to your official's account. Once you click on your official's account, you want to come in here to where we have this token right here. In your own case, maybe BTC or there, so click on it. When you click on it, we want to search for that token that the board gave us. So the board, the first token there is YF, okay? YFI, USDT. So I come in here and type YFI, which is the yen token, okay? Click on it. Then when it opens up, you want to come in here to the, the, um, this way I circle is the um, candlestick, okay? So you click on it. It brings us to this um, chart interface, all right? So this is the chart interface. And then the time frame here is four hours on the four hours time frame. Now, what I use this board to do is scalping. Scalping is in trading is making profit within a shorter frame, um, a shorter time frame in the market with a short movement of crypto in the market. That is what you are doing. Now, the board tells us buy, buy, buy. I don't want to buy, okay? I used two indicators here. I made a video about this indicator and I published it on the YouTube channel. I don't know if you have seen that video. So the two indicator is, number one, we have the Bollinger Bands, okay? We have the Bollinger Bands and then we have the RSI, okay? And the Bollinger Bands, you see, you have one line, you have the middle line, you have the last line. So this first line is serving as, you know, um, a resistance, okay? Why the last line here is serving as support? And then the middle line here is the average movement in the market. So in most cases, when the market goes up like this, as you can see right now, this um, token is trading above, even when they bought the same buy, this is already trading above the um, resistance, okay? The resistance line. And when it shoots up this way, and you check your ROSI, this other line you see here is the ROSI indicator. You, you have um, a space of 30, I'm doing this on a phone, but you would have seen this clearly on a laptop. Okay, down here it shows 30 and up here it shows 70. So what it simply means is that when this line goes up to the 70 level, it means that the market is overbought. When the market is overbought, just like you are seeing rejection in the market, when it is overbought, there is every tendency that the market will reverse back. In the crypto space, anything that goes up must surely come down, okay? So when it is overbought, and you're seeing that the candle on the Bollinger Bands, this is trading on the resistance, okay, line, okay? It means that this market will, in one way or the other, definitely reverse back, okay? So the RSI goes up this way and then comes back to the 30 level. When it is at the 30th level, it means that the market is oversold. When it is oversold, traders are looking to long the market. When it is overbought, traders are looking to short the market. All right, this is where the trick is. If you must make this money, this is where the trick is. Okay, already Binance has these indicators on your, on your chart already. So when you come in here to the chart, this is the Bollinger Bands. You see that it is active. Okay, anyone that is great, that means that it is not on the chart. Okay, so you just click on the bull here and then you click on the RSI here and it will be showing. If I go ahead and click on it, since they are active, if I click on it, it goes off. If I click on this one, it goes off. So you want to click on the Bollinger Bands and then you see it here, you click on the RSI, you see it here. Already this RSI is showing that, you know, going to the 70th level, which is showing that this is facing rejection. This is on the four hours time frame. okay? So if I come back to, let's say the one hour time frame, okay, you see the same thing, all right? It is trading up there and RSI is showing overbought. 
okay? It is showing overbought, so it will reverse. Then on the 15 minutes time frame, which is what we'll be leveraging on to take our trade, okay? you see that the market is already reversing back. So it went and touched the resistance line here, and it is returning back. In most cases, it will return to the average, and then shoot up again, okay? Return to the average, shoot up again. And then when it crosses the average, it will now be trading between the average and the support line, okay? To come from this um, um, average, go to the support line, come back again, and then right that when it breaks, it goes up again. So this is what you see right here, okay? This market is already going down, as you can see here, on the 15 minutes time frame. So what we can now do is, um, it's going down, but check here on the RSI, okay? The RSI is not at the overboard level. So in this case, I may not be able to take this trade. So I'll have to wait for the RSI to hit the oversold. Okay. When it hits the oversold, then it will go back to the overboard. If I want to short the market, I'll wait for it to hit the overboard, then I can short the market. Else, all right, if I must take this trade, if I take this trade based on the, if I click on the one hour time frame, based on what I'm getting on the one hour time frame, I will still make profit. But it means that I will stay in the market longer. If I take it based on the, um, what I'm seeing on the four hours time frame, I will still make profit, but it means that I will stay in the market longer. Okay, so make sure that if you are trading on the 15 minutes time frame, the RSI must be at the overbought level, okay, or the oversold level for you to be able to take a trade, whether long or short the market. All right, I'm speaking a lot of grammar here, but I hope you understand. All right, I, I don't know how best to explain this. All right, so. If I follow the one hour or four hours time frame, I can still make profit because um, this will continue to go down even when it is oversold. Okay, in most cases, the oversold will remain there. Okay, go down, 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 and more. I will share with you my trading view to see a clearer picture of this. Okay, but this is the Binance chart. All right. Then after that, you can go ahead and long or short the market based on what your conditions are. Okay, you can long or short the market. All right, and when you use circle mode, the market will continue to circle for you until you make profit in the market. Now, how do you set up the RSI and the bullish Japans? Okay, so first thing I need to do is we have selected the bullish Japans, okay? And then we have selected the RSI. So we need to click on this icon here at the top, okay? Click on it. This is your preference icon. So when you click on it, you want to click um, on indicators, okay? Click on indicators and it will give you all of the indicators. This is a bit different when you're using it on the phone, okay, than when you're using it on the desktop, all right? So um, majority of you don't have laptop, you need to follow up this, okay? So our concern here is the Bollinger Bands and then the ROS. So I'll go first with the Bollinger Bands and then click on it. So when you click on it, um, where you have, you know, the period here, okay? If it is 21, I normally use 30. So just change it from what it is to 30, okay? Whenever you turn it off and on, it goes off, okay? Change it to 30. If you want to tweak the colors or there are bad, whatever color you want to use, yeah, you can go ahead and tweak that. But once I change this to 30, I am good. I go ahead and click on confirm. The next thing is to click on the RSI. When you click on the RSI, by default, you have the 14 level, okay? And then I think this is six, this is 14, and this is 21. So you have all of them checked and all of them are showing up. So you can decide to use the 14 or change all of them for to 14. So I just have to change all of them. There are three lines there on the RSI, but because all of them has to be on the same value, okay, it is only showing as one line. So you can either uncheck this, uncheck this and use the 14 level or just change all of them to the 14 RSI. So I prefer using the 14 RSI. Once you did that, just click on confirm. And then when you come back, you get those settings here. Okay, so this line you are seeing here is three lines because I make all of them the same value. That is why it is showing as one line and it give me those movement in the market, okay? So if I open trading view, okay, you will get a clearer picture than what I'm explaining here. If I open trading view, um, trading view is a tool you need to equally trade and analyze the market. So I want to look for that F, -Y -F is it YFI, okay? I have it on my watch list. So on trading view, you see um, I'm, I am on my watch list. Okay, when I see the coin, I'll click and it will take us to the chart. So it's YFI, YFI, okay, look at it, okay. YFI, this is the token, okay. So I'll go ahead and click on it to open it up, all right? So you can see here the kind of rejection that the market is facing already. Now, this is a clearer picture of what the RSI looks like, okay? I am on the one hour time frame. The RSI is showing overbought already, okay? 
it is overbought. It is even at the 80th level. Once it is at 70, it is overbought. But right now it is at the 80th level. So it is overbought. If I short this market, there is every probability that I will make profit in this trade. Okay. And then all I'm waiting for is the market to reverse. Okay. So I can short the market here based on what we are seeing on the one hour. Okay. So if I change the time frame from one hour, I can go to um, the four hours time frame. The same thing. Okay. You see that the um, signal line there is already at the 80th level. So meaning that the market can actually reverse back from here. All right. Then if I change it back to the 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, it's even clearer on the 15 minutes there. It is equally at the overbought level. You see it is at, is at the top of band of this line here, overbought level. So I can short this market, all right? And it will make me profit in the market. So how do we do that? Once I get all of this confirmation on 15 minutes, on one hour, on four hours time frame, I need to go back to the bot. So when I come back to the board, okay, I am going to click on this coin, okay? Um, I've altered some of my settings, okay? Um, I've altered my settings, so I will need, make sure that um, the setting is the same way um, that I showed you, okay? So I'm going to do that setting for this. So I'll, I'll click on it. When I click on it, it opens up um, this option. So what I want to do is to scroll down first, okay? When I scroll down, if you wanted that circle configuration that we did 100 times, okay? If you want to circle, you click here because right now it is showing one time, meaning that if I enter this market, it can only want to make profit for me once. It will close the trade. It will not take again. But when I click circle, okay, it will change from that one to circle, okay? But I don't want to circle this market. I just want to, for the purpose of this demonstration, let me just make profit, small profit from this and, and show you how that works. So I want to configure some of the settings that I just shared with you by clicking on this setting, okay? So once I click on it, I am going to risk um, um, like 300, okay? So change it from here. I said, if you have anything between 500 and 300, make sure it is um, seven, okay? So seven, we are using five X, meaning that we are going to trade five, um, five times the amount of money we are putting, okay? With seven, I think basically that is all I need here, okay? Every other setting remains the same. Every other setting remains the same, the same, the same. Okay, trade profit ratio 10%, okay? And basically that is it. Basically that is it. I just go ahead and confirm this. So when I confirm that, now based on the result, though the signal here on the board is giving us buy, if I scroll up here again, this is the signal icon here again. So if I click on it once again, it is showing buy, one hour, buy, 30 minutes, buy, this, buy. So if you follow this, you will make a mistake, all right? You would have bought this, assuming you entered the market when the indicator was showing at the oversold level, then you would have buy. But right now the market is beginning to retrace back. So if you take the trade now, um, you may end up losing money. So what I just need to do is to position myself and cash money when it comes, when the market start coming down. So all I just need to do because of what we have seen, I'll just go ahead and click on sell, okay? Once I click on sell, it will go ahead and place the trade for me automatically. So it will go ahead and place a trade for me. Um, let's refresh this. Oh, okay. Um, I think um, okay. If this is not working, yes, it is not working. It means that I am out of gas fee. <laughs> it means that my gas fee is less than ten dollars or thereabout. Okay, because. Um, by default, it would have shown a trade ongoing here. So if it is not showing, no wonder this other trade closed in profit and it didn't take any trade again because as you can see, it is pending. When I click on the open trade, it is pending, okay? So this is pending. That is because I don't have enough gas fee, okay? So I will need to fund my account again, okay, to do the gas fee. So if I click on the three lines at the top, right? So if I click on that and scroll down here, let me refresh this. All right, so my uh, asset here is less than $10. Once it's less than $10, I will, not be, I will not be able to take any trade again. So this has to be above that. And how do I do that? I'm going to deposit $100 into this by just clicking deposit, okay? So once I click on deposit, just copy this USDT address, 
copy the USDT address, go to Binance, send the money, and it will be funded. So I'm going to do that after I take your question so that I'll be able to you know, take some profit from that um, yen token that I just shared with you. Okay, so this, because I have less than $10, it won't be able to take profit. So I need to fund my account. I forgot, I was supposed to do that before this meeting. So I need to fund my account. Um, sorry, I've logged that. <laughs> I need to fund my account to be able to take that trade. Okay, so I'll take your questions from here. All right, is um, actually a lot of some technical stuff, but if you must make money, you need to follow some of these technical uh, jargons to be able to make money. So you want to make your uh, contributions, you want to ask a question, just indicate, okay? Or you can unmute yourself, let me give you that, right? So you can unmute yourself and make your input. Hi, can I, can I ask a question, please? Go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh, thanks for hosting this, uh, this uh, webinar, uh, quite insightful anyway. Um, I've got two questions for you. The first one is, um, you, you're, using the, you're using the bot uh, to look at the trade. Um, but you can do that manually in Binance. So you can literally go on Binance and look for the most traded coins for the day. So you can get that information from Binance and then you can go on, you can go on Binance chat as well and have a look and they do the technical analysis. So you can go on trade view and do that and then take the trade manually on Binance. So I'm just wondering what is the rationale for not using the bot when, when you can do that information on Binance? So that's the first question that I've got. Um, the second question is that you you need you need you need obviously this thing you need time and you need to know how to trade you need to know how to read you need to you need to know you need to know how to trade you, need, you even need to know the candle formation and then know exactly when to enter the trade because some some certain trade might bounce or some of them might you might not hold it might break support or resistance depends if you're selling or buying um, so I'm just wondering so what is the what is the uh, the effectiveness of that bot? As in, what exactly would the bot do for you if you have to go and do the technical analysis of self manually as well, which is like you're doing that to give you the best chance to like make sure that you win your trade. So what is the essence of the bot? So I'm just trying to um, to, to get the rationale behind using the bot. That's, that's what I'm asking. All right, um, thank you for asking. Now, when you carry out a trade on Binance, mm. If the market goes against you, mm. um, there are two options people use. Is it that they go ahead and use ad margin? And when you look or um, you take a look at that ad margin, what the ad margin does is that it only affects your liquidation price. That is, it push your liquidation price further when you add more margin to your trade. Mm. Mm. But it does not affect the take profit. Mm. So if I don't have that time to look at the chart to always take a buy or a sell trade where, based on the trade that is ongoing, the board can automatically do, do that for you. That is why I had that 50 as the margin callback. So yeah, but that's, 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 that's only if you're doing a buy trade. So if you're doing a sell trade, how do you mitigate how do you, how do you it, 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 it works the same way. It works the same way. If I'm doing a sell trade, yeah. okay, it is based, the margin configuration is based on the direction of your trade. It is always in your favor. If you are doing a sell trade, when the market goes against you, when it mm. is down um, by 5% ROE based on the setting we use there, the mm. board will automatically buy short that market again for you. And it adds that to what is already existing. So when it adds that to what is already existing, it means that it is making, increasing your take profit level and then the margin that you are going to um, actually risk in that trade. So each time so, it goes against you by 5%, the board just automatically buys or sell to bring you closer to the market price. And then so you're talking, about, you're talking about the hedge move now. Is that is that what you're saying? Like the hedge move now? Is that is that what you're trying to explain now? The, so, the for example now so for example, now if you're shorting the market, so you're shorting the market at a certain position or whatever, certain resistance or whatever, mm -hmm. and then the 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 thing was going to your direction and then the market reversed and was turning to like go up again. So are you saying that um, the, 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 the bot will not, you, you know, like, because if it's on hedge mode, so you're trading on both sides. Is that, is, that, is that what you're trying to say? The margin call is different from the hedge mode. Okay, the hedge mode is no, where no, I'm not, I have... I'm not, I'm not, what I'm explaining, what, what I need to... Yes, what, uh, that is what I... Um, what I'm trying to say to you is that if you, I'm talking about a set trade, not the buy trade. If you're, if you're selling, right? If you've, you've looked at your chart, you've done your technical analysis and you've opened a short position, right? And then the market, say for example, you're expecting for him to come down, then it reverse and it start going up. 
how does the bot what is the benefit what was the benefit of the bot in that in that in that kind of uh, scenario what happens all right um I, I think my screen needs to load up because i need to share with you that okay well, what now? Let me explain this again. What the margin call does is that if the market goes against you, mm. it buys more. The setting for the margin call is different from there is equally an option to reverse the market for you. And that is why before you start using the bot, okay, mm. where I was sharing on the trade, we have okay. Let me share this other screen. I don't know why this is taking time. Um, this settings here, okay. This edge reverse direction trigger. Okay, mm. what this simply tells the board is that. If the market is going against you, whether you are shorting the market or you are longing the market, when this mm -hmm. market starts going against you, and mm -hmm. the 2% there will give you 10% um, ROE, if it goes mm -hmm. against you 10% ROE, the board with the other trade ongoing, it automatically open a direct an opposite direction for you. Okay. okay. That is why before you use the board, you need to check there is an option to check the edge board on, and then you equally make sure that the edge board is checked on on your Binance account. The edge mode, sorry, is checked on on your Binance account. Right. Okay. So this op this option here is put um, directly for a reversal direction. It can open both direction at the same time. But for mm -hmm. the margin call, okay, this margin call that is fifty times. Where is it? This one that is fifty times is just bringing you closer to the market um, to to the, to the market price, so that whenever the market reverses in your in your favor, it will not take you longer to make profit in the market. I would, I, would, I would understand this part, but this, this one is more particularly for a buy trade. No, right? no, no. That is what I'm saying. The trade I just shared with you now is a sell trade. Yeah, but how, how does the margin call, how does the margin call times 50 work in a sell trade? Because if you, you're, you're shorting the market, you're not like, it's not, you're, you're not going long. So if you're going long, I understand what you're saying that if it's buying as the market is dipping at a certain position, but on, for the, for, on a sell trade, Right, the market has reversed. It's not turning into a into a buy trade. How does that help you? That's what I'm, that's the point I'm trying to that explain. Is I'm what trying I'm to... saying that the margin call works in your favor, whatever direction you are taking. The trade mm -hmm. I just shared with you that just made me profit is a sell trade. Okay, it's a sell trade. Whether you are selling or long, the margin call works in conjunction with the position you are taking. Even okay. if you are taking both sell and a buy trade immediately um, at the same time. The margin call works in your and in the direction of the trade that you are taking. Okay. Yes. So it's and not only on one direction; it works in with the direction of the trade you are taking. Okay. Okay. And just, I, and just one more thing. So how, how long how long have you been using this thing for now? How long have you been using this system for now? I've been using it getting to two months now. Okay. So it's, it's still quite recent, isn't it? Okay. The board the board was officially launched sometime in January, so it's not it's not um it has not been in the market that long. So okay. you can so see I, the, I have the, I have um I have a similar one that but I didn't I, I never used it anyway, but there's one that was quite famous as well, but I, I never used it. I just thought, you know, I like saw like what you were explaining, I saw everything, but I just thought I really don't have time for this. But obviously what you're explaining now, you know, you need a little bit of technical analysis for you to um to trade as well. Obviously, it's not about just just taking any trade, the bot is telling you to trade, take and all that. And then exactly. the other point I was going to say to you, you didn't actually highlight, you, you know, the, the, the particular strategy. You didn't, you didn't actually go in depth in that particular point because you're just talking about the Bolivia band and um, and the, uh, what's it called, and the RSI. Because obviously sometimes if you're taking a sell trade or buy trade, sometimes like if you go on the 15 minutes time frame, it's the, if, if, it's, if, 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 if it's over bought and then it's, in, it's turned into a reversal and it's coming down, Sometimes you get, as you say, you get to the middle line, then it rebounds. So how do you actually trade it? Do you wait for like a pullback? Or what do you add? How do you, how do you, well, I mean, how do you, because you didn't actually focus on that particular area. I think, I think that that's more of like what people should like know. Because obviously if they are doing the technical analysis, because you, you, don't, you don't want to just be taking any trade because you have to go and look at the chart and, and do the analysis yourself and make sure that you're doing the right thing. Um, to that effect, okay, that is why I compared the signal that the board is giving to you and then to the signal um, to using RSI. You can see this trade, okay, um, it was at, at the third candle or there about half of the third candle. So you can see right here that the board gave us a buy um, signal, right? 
And right now, the RSI is indicating that at that buy um, signal that the board is giving us, this is already overbought. So there's every probability that this market will reverse back. Mm. Okay, it may be, it may keep you longer in the market. That is why you have the margin call. It may keep you longer in the market. But when it reverses back, it will definitely make you profit. Okay, so on the 15 minutes time frame here, this is already showing overbought. So mm. when it reverses, and this is taking the trade against what the board has given you. Let's assume that um, the board actually gave me a trade, oh. gave me a buy trade that I saw that buy signal somewhere around here. Let's say I saw that buy signal somewhere around there. Then I would have followed because then, okay, this was already overbought on the 15 minutes time frame. Let's, um, let me scroll back a bit, okay? Somewhere around there, okay? If I have seen that this is on the middle line of the RSI, if I've seen that buy signal somewhere around there, which I know that this particular coin was trading, as at this morning it was trading around this 5,000 plus before it now shoot up to that 7,000. So if I've seen that buy signal and I came in here and saw that the buy signal, the trade is still here, then I would have taken, okay, that buy signal that the board gave me. So mm. the board has been giving buy, 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 strong buy and the rest until now that the market is beginning to reverse back. Reverse. So now mm. that it's reversing back, instead of following the buy that the board is giving you, you take it, sir. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so because yeah, because because, because that, as I said to you, that's because this what you're explaining now. This is the main. This is the this is the cocoa. You know, you need to you need to understand this thing because obviously, if you don't know how to trade, you need to know this. These are these are basic fundamentals that every, anyone should know for them to be using this board. Because as you said, um, it, it, it depends on when you when you're buying and when you're selling. Because if you don't know this thing, you don't know how to read chat and all that. I think. Some people might actually get burnt out. I mean, that's my only um, observation anyway. All but right. Anyway. Thank you for pointing that out. I think I, that will send a clear message to all who has participated here that the fact that I said you can make $30, okay, don't just look at the money you're going to make, but equally know that there is a bit of work um, added to this. You need to, I just compare the board signal and then using, let's say, RSI to get your direction in the market. Okay, if you cannot do that, then there is an auto mode of the bot. The bot can automatically handle this for you. Okay, you just go on the automatic, automatic mode. But when you see people start sharing screenshot, it doesn't mean that it is the auto mode. It is the auto mode that is making some of this heavy profit. Okay, mm. this was um, on 15, 50% of there about when we saw that. Okay, if I reverse this, so you see the direction. And yet, if I click on it again, you still see that the bot will still be giving you a buy. Okay, see so on the 15 minutes, they're giving you a buy. And so on. So you need to understand this, compare the two, um, before you can actually follow. You don't just follow the signal um, blindly. Yeah. And then the other thing I was going to say to you: Why don't you? Why don't you set up like a team as well? Because the the, the other way of trading this thing, you can see actually set up a team, and you get different team members to come in. So when you analyze the market based on what the bot is saying, and then you can always send out the signal to like people. It's not like it's a guaranteed signal, but at least you've done some some input of technical analysis because there are people that are there are some crazy traders man you know on this on this thing so i mean i trade anyway so that's why i was asking these questions so i think from that, uh, from that perspective, Vic, the younger Vic, guys might yes. pick up my learn quicker from that thing and then maybe at the end of the day you can do a recap of technical analysis how you trade so people that are coming in will learn quicker that way you know because now they will obviously when they're looking at the chart they know what to look for and all that so there's still there are lots of strategy anyway that you can use like as i said to you like the reason why i don't really trade that much like the way i used to trade before because i don't have time and you know you need time to trade so you know that's i mean uh, i'm i'm engaged because that's stuff so the time aspect of things is the one that is uh that i don't really have uh but again for people that have time and i think it's a good thing for them to like um, um learn what you're saying all right, thank you for your input. And uh, before the end of this meeting, I'm going to set up a team and you are part, whether you have time or not, you're going to be part of that team. So please, I'll post, I don't know where you joined from. If you have my number on the WhatsApp group, um, send me a message on WhatsApp. We can see how we can, you know, uh, form a collection of um, analyzing for the sake of those who may not be able, because normally what I do, I am equally a busy person. Okay, I look at the market very early in the morning. If I see any signal that, you know, um, actually meet what I want to do. I take the trade, okay, set it up and then go my way. So the oh. margin um, and the rest will keep taking the trade whenever, if I don't want it to repeat, okay, 
I will just put it on one circle. When it takes profit for me, it closes the trade for me, and I'm done for that day. Okay. okay. So um, we, I think um, I think I think another thing as well that you said, like people have to bear that in mind that you need to make sure that you have a target. Like there are certain strategies that I trade as well. Will it only take one trade a day? And that's it. And then if it goes, it doesn't. If it doesn't go my way, maximum trade that would I take for the day is just two trades. I don't take more than two trades. That's it. You know, whether I lose or win, I don't care. I don't trade no. anymore. You know. No. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you so much for your input. I I, I do appreciate. Okay. Um. Samuel, um, you can you know. Uh, uh, good evening. I'm on Tony. Okay, Tony is on. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening. Well done. Um, I really uh, need to understand how the hash bot works because from my understanding, it means it opens uh, uh, two positions at the same time, both uh, buy and sell position at the same time. It means that means if you are in profit by 10%, you'll be at loss by 10% too. So at what point then does it take profit that is going to balance up and give you a profit for the day since it's working uh, in Paripas? So okay um somewhere please do me a favor okay um let me post a link for the bot for those who may be interested on the chat okay anybody that is interested can sign up let me um trying to get um there is an account that is on ash bot uh I, maybe i would just need to explain in manual i need to show you i needed to show you um I needed to show you the settings, okay, for that. I needed okay. to show you for the, um, but where, the way the edge board works, okay, yes, it does open two trades at the same time, well at the direction. Now, it uses this other one to cover up for this other one. When they first, let's say, they buy option, sells, and take profit for you, it will now use the margin call that it has said, the board has automatically said, to start covering up for you for the other board, for the other um the other direction so okay. in one way or the other that let's say the buy has taken profit the sell must always come back to take profit for you like that imagine cause imagine call cover up for you until the sell position take profit for you so when you start it immediately it opens this both position at the same time but when you change after some hours or the next day you see that it's only opening one direction and then the other direction is pending on the open trade Okay. Yes. yes, but but one thing I am I, you should understand is that the edge board, okay, except you have enough money and then you are increasing your first order amount, okay, may not give you the kind of result that I just shared with you on the manual um, trading. System. Okay, mm, yes. I understand because some of us may not be able to and I may not understand the analysis from the trading view and all of that, and the, the, the you need to just uh, bring up the option that will be best for. Like for like beginners, is this going to be the hash uh, board or the auto mode? So that uh, those of those of us that cannot uh, really go far in a technical analysis will be able to take one of it. Why we keep learning the way the technical analysis work and take the auto? I mean uh, the semi manual uh, mode that you've shown us. All right, so um, you just wait, as you can see on my screen, if you have up to $600, okay, just wait. Hopefully, I don't know, um, the information reaching means that by next week or thereabout, this will be launched. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have up to $600, uh, I believe the super board can make you some mad profit. If I try that and it works better, I will not be giving myself a day of, you know, doing all of this analysis. I will see how we can leverage yeah. it. Okay, all right. No, the analysis can be hectic, can be so hectic. So if the board can really assist, and help uh, help us in, in that direction to be to be to be nice. It's all right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. The next person, can you um, can you unmute yourself somewhere? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Leo. Um, all I want to say is that um, I want to ask if um, you have a video on the technical analysis because I think with that one it's going to help whoever doesn't know how to um, read use the uh, trading view to determine the markets like the way you just explained following the video in um, by using the uh, the trading view I think that one will help so I want to please if you have a video about the um, technicality of the market where we use the uh, RSI and then the bully um, uh, indicators. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, so if you have I the, do have a video, I do have a video, but it didn't yeah, a lot of that on the Telegram channel. I mean, a uh, YouTube channel. A lot of yes. them now. Yes, there, mm. there is a video, but I, 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 I think I will share those videos on the platform so that you can see them. Yes, I think uh, with even watching that one, it will help because we know where to uh, where the market is overbought and oversold, so that then we can jump into the trade. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Okay, we do have um okay, sorry. Sir, who is speaking, please? Um Friday, right? Is that Friday? Okay, um Jones, Jones, you can unmute yourself, okay? Um you can unmute yourself and make your contributions. <laughs> hi, hi. Hello, Lina. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for this session. I I really appreciate your efforts. So I have a couple of questions to ask. Uh, so I'm I'm going to speak as a layman. Say I I don't really know anything about uh, about trading at all, and I I want to get into it. I, I believe some of us are also on this platform that are that share similar concerns. So first, I want to know this meta feature bot. Just like the first uh, speaker, the, the first guy who asked the question, I think is Vic. I just want to know, uh, is there a way, any way to lose money with the Meta Feature Board? Because I know a board is supposed to make your life easier and to make your, tra your trading easier and to make profit for you. But is there any way, any way at all you can lose money on the meta feature, but that is to say, aside the ups and downs of, of the the normal market, uh, the, the ups and downs in the normal market, is there any way to lose money on the meta feature? But that's my first question. The second question would be, uh, I think you mentioned, I, I just, <clears throat> I think I caught him on when you were talking about the fees to the meta feature board. So if you can give us a breakdown of the meta fee, because I heard you saying some gas fees. I personally know about what these gas fees mean, but probably someone on the on this call might not really understand what gas fees and all those things really mean. So if you can give us the, the breakdown of the cost involved on being for for being on this meta bot the meta feature bot that's the second question and the third question i think most of the other uh speakers they i think they, they hit on that for us to we we, we would really like to know <clears throat> how to read and understand most of these indicators this the bully, the RSI, what it means, the lines, the colors, the candlestick. If it goes up, where it has to hit before it comes down, when it comes down, where it uh, forecasting it, where you think it might go up again, all those things. I think the last guy mentioned that. And my fourth question, I don't know if I'm going too fast. If I am, you can you can. And let me so that I, I hold on and after answering those questions, I, I ask the other questions as well. You you made mention of some apps. Okay, so say um in, I'm new to this whole crypto trading thing. What are the top three or top four apps you would recommend? I know one you said Binance, you register on Binance, you, you get yourself verified, you get a meta feature. What other apps? can you uh, recommend? Because I believe some of these things, you can't just jump. I know people, I know friends who just jump into this without knowing anything about it, but because you said it, they will just try and lose money, try and narrow. But these days, money is really hard to come by. So we would have to really learn the basics and get a foundation before we can even get into them. So what are the three top apps that we can we can add to this to complement the whole trading thing. And the last one is if you have any video 
on the technical analysis, which the, the last guy mentioned, we would be very, very grateful because I believe we can't just use one session or even two sessions to really understand and know what this really means. So if you can get a video that almost every time you will just be watching and taking cues from it. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, please, I'll just ask, answer the question randomly. If there is anything I skip, you will repeat the question again. Okay, All let right. me start with some of the All apps right. you need. Okay, some of the apps you need, number one is that you need um, a trading view, okay? Um, trading view is not just for crypto. You can use it to analyze um, stock and forest and the rest. But you need a trading view, okay? And then another app you need is um, you need this app called um, this is crypto. What's the name again? Okay, investing. App. They have an app. Okay, uh, I think they have an app for for Android and for for iPhones. They have one for stocks and the rest. Then there is one for crypto. Okay, I may not go into details on how this app works, but I'm just saying you get them. Um, I, I, I'm going to try to make this uh, Zoom meeting as um, as regular as I can because I can introduce you to a platform. Yes, you can lose money with the bot. I have lost money myself. You can lose money. I open a trade. Okay, uh, one of those is I open a trade. I don't know. Maybe it was a Zoom meeting like this. I just altered the setting. When I altered the setting, the margin calls were not there. The liquidation price were not there. And at the end of the day, only for me to wake up in the morning and one stupid coin, they call, is it Unify, USDT, or thereabout, just wiped out everything on my account. So yes, you need to apply caution when you are using um, the bot, okay? You can lose money. And then after the investing app, you equally need this crypto strength uh, um, indicator, okay? Equally, I believe this is what that bot give you the signals from. So you have buy, you have all of these signals, okay, sell, neutral, buy, and then at the end of the day, it gives you um, a recommendation. So you need um, some of this app, okay? Basically, we'll look at um, this app the way I will explain, maybe one of these days, I will just make a time and explain how it works, okay? So I have answered two questions, and as for the video, I just say that I'm going to make a time to have this um, Zoom meetings as regular as I can, so that uh, maybe during the day you have some issue, you come to the meeting, we know how to tackle it that. And then as Vic has said, okay, if you are interested, okay, if you know, have a bit um, technical um, knowledge of how to trade crypto, how to analyze the market and the rest, what we can do is for those who don't know anything at all, okay, um, the fact that we are doing this doesn't mean it's a guarantee, okay, it is a guarantee. But when you have more margin costs, when you have more funds on your account, and another thing I need to make, um, let us know here is that, please, I personally do risk 30% of my trading capital and I trade on cross mode. Let's say I have $1,000 on my account. I am going to open a trade. I have the option of opening 10 trades without $1,000 in order to make me $10,000 by tomorrow. But I won't do that. I can only risk 300 of that, which is 30% of that 1,000. If I have 10,000, I can only risk um, um, 30%. If I have 20,000, I can only risk 30%. So why I'm risking 30% is that the other amount that is left, because I'm trading on cross mode, the other amount that is left on my account is used to sustain the market for me, okay? It's used to sustain the market for me, meaning that even if I'm, I was supposed to be liquidated, I cannot. And if there is any trade that is going against me, if there is any trade that is going against me, what I can do is that because I have enough money on my account, I can just add margins and bring my liquidation price. One of these days will do that, this demonstration. This margin margin I'm mentioning, some may not understand it. But going forward, we'll take our time and start explaining these things one after the other for you to be able to get a better understanding of it. There are lot, when it comes to technical analysis, there are a lot of indicators you can use, okay? There are a lot of indicators you can use. Even if you don't understand all of these indicators, Make sure you do understand how to use the RSI. It's very important, okay? So we look at all of this um, as time goes on, one after the other. Today is like a general introduction to the board. Tomorrow we'll look at, you know, how to manage your risk. we just just like that, okay? When I get opinion, maybe one of these days we'll just do question and answer. You answer your, you ask a question, 
I demonstrated as uh, you know we have a trade going on and so on. I don't know if that answers all your questions. Yeah, I think yeah. by far you, you've answered most of the questions. Uh, okay, so the question about the fees for the bot. So okay. say the fees, mm -hmm. the fees for the bot, um, it costs um 150 USDT yearly subscription. Okay, so after that expires, it means that for you to use it the next year, you need to um do what is it called? You need to do uh, renew it. Okay, so that 150, once you come in here to deposit, well, let's say you just signed up and you deposit. Once you deposit the 150, automatically the board is activated for you. And then after that, the way the board charges is that the board cannot go to Binance where you have your money to charge you for whatever fee they want to do. The board only charge when you make profit. The way it charges is that 20% of whatever profit you make is what the board collects, okay? 20% of $1,000 will be $200. Let's say today you decided to make $1,000 in the market. It means that you need to have $200 in your account to be able to pay for your gas fee. Okay, I had some money here and I've exhausted it, so I need to pay. That is why I can no longer take a trade. If you have anything less than 10 USDT here, you can no longer take a trade until you fund it. Okay, so if it is 20% of $100, let's say you make $100 in a day, it means that you need $20 as your gas fee. So you must always have money on standby here as a gas fee. If not, you'll be just um, hot on the road and you can no longer take trades using the bot. I don't know if that is clear. Yeah, yeah, that, that's quite clear. So it means they are not really going to take, say you make a profit of $1,000. They are not going to take the $200 from your $1,000 as a gas fee. They're actually going to take it from the money you've already deposited into the bot. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So I, I do have a video on how to set up the bot, okay? Um, I will do share the video so that um, for the APIs, Binance binding and the rest, I'll, do, I'll share that with you, right? And also the Excel, the Excel. Yes, the Excel sheet. Yes, I will probably share that. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I think that's all for now. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, what is it? Wado, Wado, Wado. Please, sorry if I murder your name. Go ahead. I want to save and make your contributions, okay? Wado, Wado, Wado. Okay, go ahead and make your contribution. No, no, no. Monday no. born in Ghana. Yes, Wado Monday born. Uh, thank you very much, Leo. Uh, my my question. Oh, yeah, that's my question. Please, uh, I've set the auto board, the egg mode, and I was making profit, even though it's not enough. Before I saw your, uh, your settings, the one you brought first, and I followed it. I followed it. After I followed it, I think the first day I made some profit on it. But the next day, I saw that my one of the uh, bnb was liquidated because they, were, they said there was not much funds in my account then i was trying to go back to the edge mode the auto and i don't know how to go back if you could remember i think i even sent you a message and you you also sent me a message but it was not what i was looking for so please if I've set a setting and I'm not able to uh, set it to well, how do I go back to the edge mode, that auto mode that uh, the, the system set for me? Thank you. Okay, okay. Um, Samuel, please, can you help me post that link on the chat on this Zoom? Okay, for those who may want to take advantage of that one. Uh, why you post it on the group, on the platform, different platform, equally post it here on the chat, all right? So the edge board, all right, um, when I set this and I start yeah. the trade, when I set up this and I start the trade, if it takes, let's say I put in two trade here, if it takes two trade for me, I can still come back here. Let's say once I click on start, your board will automatically start, okay? When it starts, I can come back here and edit the board. Just click on the edge board. You see where it says stop, okay, stop here, and then edit. When you edit the board, it will not affect the ongoing trade. 
it's not going to affect the ongoing okay. trade. The ongoing trade will be there until maybe when it blows in profit or at loss. But the let's say you did, did two trade and then you are coming here to adjust it to one trade or then about the one trade will only be um, implemented when there is another trade ongoing. Okay, when when there's a new trade ongoing. So yes, you can always come in here and edit this. Whenever you, you want to carry out this board and use it to trade, make sure that you have enough for because of what we call the margin call. The margin call is the reason why uh, the board cannot make losses for you. If you have enough money to cover up the dip, okay, I think we're trading Bitcoin around uh, 20, was it around 27, 28 before we had that deep drop that brought us to around 20,000 or thereabouts. Those who didn't have enough money then actually had issue because the board had to liquidate them. There was no funds to cover up for the, for the position. But if you have enough funds and you have your margin calls, okay, activated, then the board will continue. You can equally manually add a margin call when a trade is going against you. For instance, if I come in here to any of these trade, let's say I go ahead and open this trade. If the trade is ongoing, you will always see the setting icon on your trade. We'll look at all of these as time goes on with ongoing trade and you always see the setting icon on your ongoing trade. Okay, when you see it, if I click on this icon, it brings you to this page. When it brings you to this page, there's what we call add average margin. Let's say a trade is going against me by minus 50% 50 ROE. And already, let's say the money I'm risking in that trade is 500. Okay, I can use the margin call to add additional 2,000 on that trade. If the price of Bitcoin as I when I enter is at 27 and right now is at 20, when I add 1,000, there's every tendency that that will bring me, okay, using this margin call, it will bring me closer to the trade. It may not bring me immediately to 20, but it can bring me to 22, 23, or even 21. So with that in mind, you can always add because as the market keep dropping, it, can always, it will always go up and down, go up and down. So when it comes in your favor, you make money that way. You can raise a higher money. I'm not advising. This is not in, in any way trading advice or the financial advice. I'm just saying what I personally do to avoid liquidation. You must have enough money in your account to have, you know, avoid liquidation. As I'm saying, I personally raise only $30 and I trade on cross mode. Okay. Um, the board would trade on isolation and I, on isolated mode, but because I have uh, multi asset mode activated on my Binance. Any trade that is taken by this board is always on cross mode. So I don't risk more than 30%. If I have 1,000, my risk is 300. If I have whatever amount I have, it will always be 30%. So if you understand this, you should be able to avoid getting liquidated on, um, on the market. I don't know if that um, goes no light to what you were trying to find out. No, no, you already did. Okay. Um, do we have any other question? Any other contribution? Please. Any other question? All right. Sorry. Um, if there is no other question, I believe. Um, Hello, Alan. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. I, my, it's not a question per se, just a suggestion. No, we have been uh, on this uh, group for a very long time from uh, Prime Board. We've been trading as uh, spot. I will know that spot cannot uh, really, as you uh, often say, spot cannot really make us profits like that. It can put us at a, a, a stagnant position for months, just like uh, Prime Board has uh, been doing. It's not the fault of the board, but the market uh, situation. And we can understand that in um, features, we can actually make it faster and or with uh, our collective understanding. I don't know if uh, as uh, this uh, meta board has come, it's a right tool for us to really add up to our, our experience and keep trading. I don't know if we can create just as we just mentioned earlier it was at the lighter mode but i want to just uh, say that if we can just put the effort in uh, bringing uh, more um, experienced uh, persons in a technical analysis that can put us together and then maybe when like it used to be in a uh, prime board they give us signal per day and you if you have the fund to take a trade you can take i don't know if it can happen like that here so that 
uh, each day, we know that, okay, if I have a fund, if I have, this is the, it, it might not be 100% accurate, but this is where the direction is going, that if I will be able to trade here, I can pick this coin and trade. I don't know if we can be able to do that here, because I know that this uh, meta feature, but is the one that is going to carry us, is going to really carry us forward, because if we, are, if we really have the understanding of this uh, feature trade, we make... Uh, money faster here, and it's going to encourage everybody to come on board. It's all right. Um, subsequently, I will be doing that, okay? We'll be doing all of those technical analysis and the rest. And um, please, if you are here, okay, you do understand some of these things, do contact me, all right? Um, in most of this meeting, you'll be my co-host, and then you explain some of the things because I don't know it all, <laughs> all right?